Hey guys, Taylor here from Two Dudes Who Exist, bringing you a vlog on this Thursday afternoon. Um, you know, I, the Lord has put some things on my heart that I feel like sharing. Um, so, a little life update. Um, my beautiful wife, Carmi, and I have two beautiful children, both boys. One is named Cody. He's four months old. And then we have Charlie, our two-year-old who's outside with me now, hitting things with a mallet. Um, and the season that we're in now has been interesting. Uh, it's not a season where we get much sleep. It's a season where um, I'm finding that God is really showing me um, some flaws, and he's pruning some branches um, if you will, and, and kind of exposing some areas of my life that I need work on. And I'm very thankful for that. Um, and one of those areas is patience. I, I, uh, I find that I'm not patient, um, with my children, uh, ever. Um, they, they, they push me to my limits quickly and, and I get very frustrated and upset. Um, and it's, it's something that I didn't really realize about myself until I had children um, but it's something that the Lord has really kind of shown me and and, 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 and and it's something that I can now work on um, and, and, and you know this this season and I, I, hey, talking is not easy for me um, the season that we are in and that I am in now <clears throat> is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's brought a lot of anxiety, um, that was hard to identify at first. Um, it started a few years ago, um, even before I had kids, I was newly married and, um, you know, just a lot of life change, owning a house and all these things. Um. What are you doing, bud? For one reason or another, it was, it was, I was just, I was just very overwhelmingly anxious, like physical symptoms of like passing out, almost passing out, and, um, just this uneasy, you know, nauseous a lot of times, and I was just, I had no idea what was going on, and, and I've come to kind of over the years, well, yeah, over the, you know, from 2019 to now, I've kind of identified, hey, this is probably anxiety that I'm dealing with because, you know, I've gotten all these tests run by doctors and doctors don't know what's going on and doctors are thinking, hey, you probably got anxiety. Um, and, and, you know, you look at my life and what, what do I have to be anxious about, right? I, I'm married to a beautiful, uh, godly woman. I live in a, in a house that we own um a beautiful house i've got two amazing kids you know we both have nice cars and um and we make money and um and, and the lord provides for all of our needs so what do i have to be um anxious about and um it's been <clears throat> it's been a slow process really trying to figure that all out um you know i find that i I overanalyze things a lot, um, and in, in my brain, like, like for example, my faith, I really, I know that faith is not something that, um, no, I'm sorry, uh, salvation is not something that is earned through works. Um, it's, it's earned by a faith and a trust in Jesus uh, for the atoning work that he um, has done on the cross for me. It's nothing that I can do. And yet I find myself trying to earn that grace that I've been given every single day. I, I try to, and, and, it's not, and, it, and it's like subconsciously I do this um, because I know that that's not how this works. But I think if I'm better today than I was yesterday, if I read my Bible for longer, if I was... Um, more patient with my children, if I um, worked harder, um, that, that I would feel more accomplished and feel less guilty of my sin, um, and, and that I'd be more deserving of the grace that, that God has given me. 
Um, and man, that has brought on a ton of anxiety. Um, it's just not fruitful to, to live your life that way. Um, even, even when I have good days a lot of the times, I, I, I just, I'm like, well, I could have done this a lot better. I could have done this a lot better. I could have done that a lot better. And, and I find my, you know, I find that I leave a sour, it leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Like, oh, well, blah. This day was blah. Um, and man, I don't enjoy and, and really take joy in the small things. Um, for example, I just got done going to the park with my kids, with my two boys. Um, and we do that a lot. But I'll find that I think about, well, I haven't worked out today. I haven't read anything today. I haven't cleaned the house up. The house is a mess. And when I'm at the park trying to enjoy my time with my boys, I'm not enjoying my time. Because I think, oh man, I should be doing all these other things, and then 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 I then I have forfeited the the good gift that the Lord has given me to enjoy my time at the park with my sons, and it just and it just robs me of joy. So I'm trying to focus on joy, and and being joyful in, like I said, the small things in life. And, and, and not over critiquing everything. The Lord calls us to obedience and to always try our best and to be the best person that we can be as we chase perfection and, and, and we chase Jesus' Jesus' is perfection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but when we fail in that, okay, we'll do that in a minute. We'll do that in a minute. Hmm? You want to get up where? Yeah. To the roof? Yeah. You can't get on the roof. Why? Because it's too high. Why? It's too high. Why? You want to come say hi? Huh? You want to come say hi? To the camera? Yeah. I'm Tudor Dovey. What's your name? Tudor Dovey. Well, there's nobody on the other side of it. It's a video. Huh? What's your name? I'm Tay. John Burke. That's right. You're Charlie John Burke. How old are you? This. That many? Yeah. Excuse me. Here, let me see this. Whoa! Are you okay? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where I where I was. Um, but that's okay. So, um, is this even still going? It is. So, I'll leave you with that. Rejoice in the Lord, as Paul says in Philippians multiple times. Rejoice that God is good even when you're not. Even when you fall and you're not who you think you can be, God is good. Jesus paid the price for our sin. So we don't have to earn that. It's been done. It's, it's over with. Jesus has done that. So rest in that if you're a believer in Christ. Thank you.